Dean, let's start with today's game against Sampdoria. How did the lads do? It was a really good game, actually. It was something that the boys have experienced for a couple of years facing international opposition. Sampdoria actually came here two years ago and played our title winning team. We ran out 2 0 winners on the day. And we actually went out for dinner that night with Enrico Chiesa, created a little bit of a relationship with Sampdoria, and that's why they got in touch with us again this year. They're on tour. They're going to be playing against Bournemouth and Chelsea. They're 23s, and they came here today with an under 19 group knowing how well we did against them and, and the game was really competitive. We started great, really came out of the traps flying, played some really good football, worked a little bit on the group yesterday, getting our fullbacks a little bit higher, playing the wingers inside and just trying to get more opportunities in the final third to, to break teams down and it was a really, really good start. We went one up quite early for a penalty, 1-1, 2-1, second penalty through our quick combination play. 3-0 from a free kick, a direct free kick from Zahn Francis and, and then uh, that was half time, 3-1. Second half, much the same, went 4-1 ahead, dominating the game, then we made some subs, they made some subs, they brought some younger players on which added a bit more pace to their team and they started to cause us a lot more problems in the second half and from 75 to 90 it was a really difficult game, they grabbed two back, 4-3 and then it was end to end, real, a little bit scrappy, um, quite a few fouls, a few yellow cards. Both teams really wanting to win and it was, it was great that we ran out 4-3 winners at the end in what was a really competitive game. Any performances stand out for you today? The mixture of the group was some players coming up from the 18s who have been doing well, some, some 18s who have been who are still who are still fighting for their professional contracts, some 19s who have been involved with the first team. So I wouldn't say individual performances, it was really just a, a real good team performance and the things that we worked on in training yesterday really came out in the first half and I said to them the game will be won and lost in transition. If you do it quickly with the ball and you do it quickly without the ball, we'll win the game. And for 75 minutes we did it. Last 15, a little bit too open, a little bit slow in what we were doing, taking too many touches and that, that showed in the two goals that they grabbed, but a real good team performance. Part of your gig is to develop talent here, so it must have been nice for you at the weekend to see Shane make his debut for the first thing. It was brilliant, it was brilliant. Ever since I stepped up into the 23s role, I have a real mixture of players. I have players fighting for professional contracts. I have players that are in the 23s that have been there for two seasons, like Shane. I have players that are maybe dropping down from the first team because they need minutes in, in the games that we play on a Tuesday. Maybe they're not in the squad on a Saturday, so they train with me. So it's a real group. So trying to pin that group together with people on different, different moments on their journeys is difficult. And it, I guess what I'm trying to do is feel that tiny little bit of area that, that needs to be improved for them to make the step up into the first team and it may take six months, it may take a year and you know Shane's been in the 23s for almost two years now since he was an under 18 and Saturday was his first time in the squad and his first time on the grass for the first team here in the stadium and it, and it was brilliant for him because his attitude is absolutely unbelievable. He's in the gym every day, he takes his protein chase, he eats right, he sleeps right, he works hard, he does his extras. And it's, he's a real good example to the younger players that you're not just going to become a professional footballer and jump straight into the first team. It might take you two seasons, it might take you three, but you have to stay on it and you have to keep working. And in the end, if you're good enough and your attitude is right, you will get your chance. So yeah, I was absolutely chuffed for him.